Hi, everybody. I'd like to show you a new feature that we at Sweet Engine are adding to our channel sales manager integration to e-commerce platforms. This new feature will allow you to take order notes and comments that you've retrieved from a connected e-commerce platform and present them on uh, sales orders in Business Central. If this is your first time being exposed to CSM, I'll just kind of briefly describe uh, what a channel order is. So when we bring in an order from a connected platform, we don't automatically create a sales order in Business Central. What we do is we create what's called a channel order. This is kind of like all of the raw data that we're getting from, from that particular channel. So for example, here you can see from Big Commerce, we retrieved an in, in order, order 648 on Big Commerce. It was for our Berlin guest chair. Here's the, you know, the pricing information. Uh, here's the the uh, shipping information as well, things like that. And then what CSM does is it has some automation in place to automatically build a business central sales order from this information. I can actually jump to it right from this little fact box. But you can now this is the the standard business central sales order. So you can see again, here's my basic information. Here's the item, the Berlin guest chair. Pricing information comes in, shipping information comes in, uh, all of all of that. Let's go back a minute and look at the CSM order again. So as part of the, the process of retrieving and sending information back and forth between a connected channel, we create what we call order documents on the CSM order. So for example, you can see we've got some payment information that we've retrieved from big from big commerce. And if we scroll over, you can see there's additional information. Again, I guess this, again, this is like the raw data that we're getting from the channel. So again, we took our payment through Stripe. Here's the payment details here. Here's like the the credit, the, like the payment intent, you know, other information about the credit card as well. Um, and you'll see one of the other things we get are an order document type called notes. And in some cases, you, you could actually have multiple note types. So Big Commerce does a really kind of good a good job, or you can kind of see the differences here, where you could have customer notes that are being entered by the customer at the time uh, of the order entry. Big Commerce also has this concept of what they call staff notes. That's you know those are notes that are being entered and behind the scene you know through the through the Big Commerce like admin portal for example. So they're meant to be internal only. If we scroll over, we can actually see the content of these. So you can see here for our customer note, they wrote you know, the customer wrote, please leave package by the front door. You know, we also have a staff note in here, attention ship by the end of the week. Every channel, you know, CSM supports a number of channels. Every channel has their own specific way to identify these. So you can see for big commerce, we have customer message and we have staff notes. So you have a WooCommerce order here as well. What big commerce called customer message, WooCommerce calls customer note. So again, you know, the 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 specific terminology changes from from channel to channel. Uh, which is important because I'll show you kind of how this this mapping works. If you look at this, let's take a look at this note here. Customer note: Security gate requires a code. Delivery driver will need to call me. So, if we look at the sales order for that, you can see here's our comment there: Security gate requires a code. Delivery driver needs to call me. So, it's important to understand the nomenclature or the you know the the terminology that these platforms use for their different note types. Because what we're going to do is we're going to at the at the platform level define kind of the behavior, the sales order placement that we want for these particular notes. So let's go back to our big commerce one. Again, we have customer message and we have staff note. I'm going to go back to my sales channel for big commerce. If again, if you're not familiar with CSM, the sales channel is the integration between Business Central and a specific platform. It's also where all of your default behavior uh, for that platform is, def is defined as well. So this is our integration to our big commerce site. The feature that we're adding is if you go to related setup, we have this new option that we've added called order notes placement. And if I pick that, you can see there's not a lot here. There's the sales channel code, and that's just going to default based on the code of the sales channel. So you can see my sales channel code is big commerce B to C. If I create a new line here, that automatically populates. The key things, though, are this order document number. This is a text field, so it's totally you know, editable. I'm typing things on my keyboard, and, and they, they're entered here. And this is, again, where you want to kind of, you know, you want to know the specific terminology for the platform that you're working with. 
So again, big commerce, we have the concept of customer message, and we also have the concept of staff notes. And then the final thing here is we have this placement field. This is a drop down, and our options currently are blank, sales line, or sales comment line. Um, so in the case here for big commerce, you can see our customer message. We want to put that on the sales line. Our staff notes, we want to put on the sales comment line. If we go back to that sales order that we had, here it is right here. You can see again on the line, you know, the, the sales line itself, we have that that um, customer note. If I go to related order comments, you could see that that attention shipped by the end of the week, you know, it has been entered there. And that's that's pretty much it. Again, the the specifics to the, the to the channel are relevant. So if I go to my WooCommerce channel setup. See for this one, it's customer note. Again, it's going to be slightly different depending on how the channel is identifying their particular note types. And the other thing you can do is you could also you could also set to blank. Or you could just remove it entirely. So maybe we don't actually want the staff notes to appear anywhere on the sales order at all. So we could just delete this. We could leave it blank. Let's just we'll leave it blank. And actually, just to kind of mix it up, let's change the customer message here to sales comment line. So we'll do something a little bit different. I'm going to go to my big commerce order. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the sales order that we created from it. So I'll delete it. And then what I can do is I can manually recreate, you know, create a sales order from it. So if I update status, again, by default, CSM will automatically do that, but I can also manually do it. So I'm going to create uh, create sales order. See that repopulated there. I click on it. Uh, you can see now I don't have a line here on my my sales line. And if I go to related order comments, now that customer note is showing there that please leave package by the front door and that staff note doesn't appear uh, anywhere. And a couple other things. So by default, um, CSM has integrations to um, Amazon, Big Commerce, Magento, Shopify, and WooCommerce. Um, as of the release of this feature, both Big Commerce and WooCommerce are supported. Um, we'll be making changes to our other extensions uh, in the months to come to retrieve this information in. Um, so as of today, again, when we retrieve in, for example, a big commerce order, we're getting the customer message and the staff note. This is being retrieved from the channel. Uh, same thing with WooCommerce. We're currently retrieving the customer note. So for our other channels, uh, Shopify, Magento, um, we'll, we'll make changes to those um, extensions so that we're also bringing that information in automatically. If you are bringing in notes again, maybe big commerce, maybe WooCommerce. Maybe you have a, a again a, a plugin or an extension on one of those channels or Shopify or Magento or whatever, and you need to know how it's identified. You can just bring in the order and you can look at it for, from the CSM perspective. So, like full disclosure, when I brought in this big commerce, yeah, you know, I wasn't I wasn't sure how big commerce was identifying it as a customer message or a staff note. So I just I retrieved this order in. I saw what they were using, and then I went to my channel, and I uh, defined the values here. If you want to kind of figure out, you know, what what do I need to be entering in this particular field for the particular channel I'm working with, there's no better way than just bringing in a CSM order and looking at what what the platform is using to identify it. So thank you again for your time. If you have any questions on this or, or other elements of your CSM solution, don't hesitate to, to contact us uh, and we're happy to help you out.